Hey yogis, thanks for joining me for this practice today. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Lotus Mudra. So you've never done that before. Bring your thumbs to touch, bring your pinkies to touch, and then spread the other three fingers upwards, palms to touching, and then just bring them to the center of your heart, and then just close down your eyes. Breathe into your seat. And exhale through. Just allow yourself to start to really be here today. Make the commitment to just be here in your practice. And to allow your journey to unfold. For you to learn, to grow. And to breathe. Deepen into the breath. Find your Ujjayi Pranayama. Hear, see, and feel the breath moving in. And out. The lotus is this beautiful flower that must rise through the darkness and the mud. come up on top, to come out, to bloom, it goes through this journey. And most of us have all been through a journey at one point, where we have arisen stronger, wiser, and the lotus is a symbol of wisdom. So we put our trust in the symbolism of the lotus today. As you inhale, bring that lotus flower up overhead. Open up your eyes, gaze towards it. As you exhale, bring the hands through prayer, hand fold all the way down towards the square, just bowing down towards this practice, towards your journey, towards the teachings. Bring the hands into prayer in front of your heart. Set a ten intention. Set a devotion. And we'll start to the sound of all. Gently come over your hands and your knees into your tabletop. Inhale, hug the elbows in, call it up to the end of your nose, open up back thigh. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, arrive up and back into downward facing dog. And if you want to pad through your legs, pad through the legs, bending one leg or the other. Maybe bend both legs, maybe stretch both legs. Just do whatever feels good in your body today that's going to help you move into this first downward dog. The gaze is towards the navel, so if you're gripping into the back of the neck, you just let that head hang heavy in down. Feel that Ujjayi Pranayama flowing in and flowing out. Two more breaths here. Connecting in towards yourself on your mat today. Inhale, tops the toes, bend the legs, look forward, find yourself all the way up to the front of the mat. Half the left leg through the spine, pull the shoulder blades up and back. Exhale, fold the heart down towards yourself. Bend or stretch your legs here. Whatever is in your practice, whatever is in your body today. Inhale as you're half the left. Let go of this idea that your body is going to feel the same every single day. It's not. Exhale, just fold into this moment and just meet whatever you brought on your mat today. Inhale as a half your left lengthen. Exhale as a fold, fold, bow down and towards yourself. Inhale, you're going to root the heels down, come all the way up through a flat back, find that lotus mudra above your head, sink the heels down like the roots, lift the hands up, balloon. Exhale, bow all the way down towards yourself again. Inhale, half your left lengthen. 
Exhale, step the left leg to the back, drop the left knee down. We're just going to take two big shoulder rolls here. Roll the shoulders up. Exhale, release tension. Inhale is up. Scoop the back of the neck with the hands. Open up the heart towards the sky. Drop the head back. Engage the Mula Bandha by scooping the bowl of the pubic bone up and in. Find that stability through the lower body that just allows that heart and the head to drop back, feeling secure and stable. Pull the chin and pull the chest and place the hands down around the front foot. Tuck the back toes under, stretch the back leg. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, fold in towards yourself. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And again, one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, knee, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Arrive here. Breathe in, find stillness. Breathe out. Inhale into stillness. Exhale out. Inhale, extend the right leg up and back. It can be high, it can be low. Pull it to the front of the mat. Find that high lunge at the front. Inhale, bring the hands up. Just for a breath. Exhale, fold over your toes at the front of the mat. Press the heels down to create roots. Inhale, flat back is up. Create this little mudra above your head. Draw the navel in. Exhale, fold towards your yourself. Inhale, lengthen. Lift to the end of your nose. Step the right leg back, drop the right knee down, front knee in line with heel. Shoulder roll up. Release back. Ujjayi pranayama in. Clasp the back of the neck, open up the heart. Imagine your head was just resting on someone's lap. Hug the inner thighs together for stability. Feeling that stability allow the upper chest, head and neck to open. Pull the chin and pull the navel in, place the hands down around the front foot, tuck the back toes and lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, take your chaturanga, hugging the elbows in, whichever option you take today. Inhale, pull the heart forward, up dog or your cobra. Back into downward facing dog, pressing the palms into the ground. Feel the strength through the arms. Send the hip bones up and back and breathe. Lift the left leg up, extending it up and back. Step it to the front of the mat and round you through the spine. Pull the hands up for a breath, crescent lunge. Exhale, fold. Hug the front of the mat, right foot comes to the front. Inhale, all the way up, stand all the way up. Press the fingertips together. Find that lotus mudra. Start to drop back a little bit, open up the chest. You can go deeper, you can go shallow, it's up to you. And then exhale, fold all the way back down towards yourself. Inhale, halfway lift, retract the shoulders. Exhale, step or float, high to low plank. Knee chest chin is always an option. Maybe even skipping the vinyasa today. Pull back, downward facing dog. Open up your left foot, step your right foot to the front. Come into Vira Madrasana 1. Find that lotus mudra above the head again. Stay here, breathe. Feel the feet firming into the earth. Feel the lightness through the upper body. Place the hands down around the front foot. Make your way into downward facing dog. Look to the front of the mat. Inhale is up. Open up that heart. Exhale is back. Come into your downward facing dog. Breathe for a breath. And then open up the right foot. Step the left foot to the front of the mat. Front knee in line with heel. Bring the palms up overhead. Press the thumbs and the pinkies together. Spread the other three fingers. Feel the feet pressing down. 
Lift the heart up. High plank. Make your way to downward dog. Navel is engaged. Breathe. Inhale, top to the toes. Bend your legs, step or float to the front of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back all the way up. Bring the palms together. Sink the heels down. Lift out of your pelvis. Drop the head back. Drop the hands back. You can go as deep or as shallow. It feels good in your body today. Pull the hands in. Pull the chin in. Pull the chest in. Dive all the way down towards your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the left leg back. This time come up into that crescent lunge. Find your crescent lunge. Grab your left arm. Reach out over that left arm. Then open and take a side bend here. Power through the back leg. Lift the left hip bone up. Extend through the arms. Drop the right hand down. Then grab the outside of the left leg. Flip the heart up. Drop the left hand back. Keep pressing into your right big toe. Bring the hands in towards your heart. Find the crescent lunge. Find that lotus mudra. Lift up into Virabhadrasana 3. Extend the fingertips forward, overhead. Hands come by your ears. Flex the back foot away. Lengthen through the spine. 3, 2, one, place the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Tops the toes, bend the legs and forward, step or float to the front, halfway lift. Exhale, fall. Last time, inhale is up. Palms together, lift the heart up. Hug the hands by the ears, drop the head back, take your back bend here. You can just take it a little bit. Maybe you just want to take it a little really shallow. Maybe the body feels really open and you really want to drop that head back. One more breath. Pull the chin in forward fold. Make sure that navel comes in towards your spine all the way down. Inhale, halfway left, extend the right leg back, come into your crescent lunge, front knee in line with heel. Inhale is all the way up. Grab the right hand, lift up, exhale, take that side bend. Feel this line of energy from your back toes, filling up the front thigh muscle of the right leg, up the hip, and all the way to the ends of your fingers. Left hand drops down, grabs the outside of the right leg, lift the heart up towards the sky. Reach the heart up and back. Open up the heart, drop the right hand back. Reach behind you. Maybe look behind you. Pull the hands into prayer, pull the chin and pull the navel in. You're going to come forward into that Virabhadrasana 3, extending the fingertips forward into your Lotus Mudra. Extend and reach the fingertips forward, flex through both of your feet for 3, 2, 1. Place the hands down, step back, come into a high plank, lower all the way down onto your belly. Come forward into Bhujangasana, then walk your hands slightly forward. Press the hands into the ground. Shoulders away from the ears. Roll the heart up to the sky. Breathe and be here. Just feel that heart opening, shoulders melting down. Rise. Keep rising. If this is not enough, stay here. If you want to go a little bit further, you're going to bend your feet and bring them up towards your head and drop your head back. It's not about getting your head onto your toes. It's about what do you sense and feel here. Press the hands into the ground, lift the heart for three, two, exhale, bring the belly all the way back down, breathe into that back, hug the elbows in so that the elbow and the shoulders and the middle fingers are in alignment, take a sphinx pose and tuck your toes, you can take a forearm plank, draw the navel in to meet the spine, hold here, crown the head reaches forward, heels lengthen back, breathe. Draw the navel up and in. Meet your strength. Really find that strength. Find that strength here for three, two. Don't drop the legs. You're going to lift up into your dolphin pose. Walk the feet in. 
Hug the elbows in, lift the hips up high. Push the elbows into the ground to send the tailbone up higher. Be here, breathe, endure, grow, witness. Lower down your knees, take a balasana, child's pose. Just drop the head down, roll the shoulders in. And just take a beautiful round of breath into their body and through the body. Slow right down into that flow of prana. Come all the way up onto your knees. We're going to take Ustrasana. If you want to stay in baby Ustrasana, you're just going to lift the heart here or maybe lift the hips, otherwise you're going to come with me. Hands come onto the lower back, hug the elbows in. Lift out of your lower back, open up your chest. If this is enough, stay here. Maybe you grab one foot or maybe both feet come down towards your heels. Take the option that works for you. Press the hips forward, open up the chest. Feel the heart opening towards the sky. Breathe. Pull the hands up onto the lower back, pull the chin and pull the chest and the belly in. Bring the hands onto the knees, close down the eyes and just pull the heart back in and just feel the breath. Okay, we've got three options. First option is you're just going to do the same version again. Second option is you're going to go to a wall and practice bringing those hands up and overhead and bringing them onto the wall, maybe pressing into the wall, or maybe walking down the wall. So nice and just as far as you can go. Third version is you're going to drop back from your Ustrasana, hands come back and then maybe you lift one leg up and the other leg up into Urban Anurasa. Otherwise you're just practicing at the wall or you're just staying in your camel pose. So just take the option that's best for your body today, not your ego. So if your back's a little bit sore, just come back into the Ustrasana. If you're going to the wall, bring the hands up overhead. If you're taking your strasana, take your regular camel pose. Bring the hands all the way up. Press the hands forward. Bring the hands onto the ground below you. If this is enough, stay here. If you're at the wall, push into the wall. If you're going a little bit further, one foot comes up, other foot comes up, and you find your urdhva and your asana. Push that heart up and through. Good. If you're in urban then rest in the lower down. If you're at the wall, gently bring your hands up. Everyone, just make your way into child's pose once more. And just, I'm just going to flip around and lower down here. And just breathe into whatever's going on in your body. We're going to take a rabbit pose. So grab your feet. Bring the crown of the head right onto the mat, so tuck the chin in, round into your back, push your hands into your heels and your heels into your hands. Press your heart through your spine and breathe here. Good, lower all the way down. Lift up onto your knees. Take a twist, inhale, lift up, bring your right hand to the outside, look over your left shoulder. Look forward, bring that left hand up, reach out of that belly, twist to the other side. Make sure the pelvis is nice and stable as you take this twist. Good, that's all the way up. Come onto your back, come into Akhanasana, hug the knees into the chest. Nice big hug with the knees, sink the tailbone down. Really give yourself a beautiful hug here. Shoulders soften, tailbone lengthens. If there's any other little stretch you want to take, maybe a little twist just to neutralize that spine. 
Otherwise, just bring your weight into Shavasana, one leg down, other leg down, hands come down by the sides of the body, shoulders roll away from the ears. And just allow yourself this moment to let go and to surrender. Every journey that we face shapes us, molds us, and guides us. Sometimes our journeys can feel quite difficult. Sometimes we fall over. Sometimes we get lost. Sometimes we compare ourselves to others and put ourselves into a place of, I'm not good enough. But our practice reminds us that we are enough and that we can endure and that life's challenges and life's difficulties only help us to grow. And so we remember the lotus, which rises through the darkness to bloom. Just stay here a little bit longer, and then please just stay here. Otherwise, extend your hands up overhead. Breathe from the tops of your fingers to the ends of your toes. Up and into your chest. Maybe roll onto one side. Maybe just roll all the way up. And just find that steady position that you started in with our Lotus Mudra. Thumbs touching, pinkies touching. And just arrive here, just meet the breath in this moment. Put your faith in the lotus today. And remember that we too will grow through our, our mud to witness our true potential. Bow to this truth, bow to yourself, bow to your journeys, bow to your trials, your fears, your worries. Bow to your support, your devotion. Bow to yourself. Gently join the palms together, lift the chin, and we'll finish our practice to the sound of all. your third eye and bow to your divine essence and shanti 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 peace to ourselves peace to each other and peace to everyone that we meet on our journey